Asking why people play Beastmen is like asking why you logged onto Wizard 101. You were bored and you wanted something to do. With Beastmen, you don't need a membership and there is no barrier to entry. You don't need a pet, you don't need gear, you don't need gold. The only thing you need is to watch a guide before signing up for a game. This is because Beastman is a team-based game that requires you to know how to navigate the map, choose a good form, and know what to discard. It is a strategy-based game, and there are two different game modes. Beastman Hunt is the PvP version, which is not very beginner-friendly because it is PvP, and then there is a Beastman Mayhem version, which you are fighting against mobs to complete three waves before the timer runs out, so it's similar to a raid. The most fun thing about Beastman is that you can play different forms, meaning you can play as a different school. So if you decide that maybe a fire pig is not for you, then you can switch to a storm croc in the middle of a game. This is why people play Beastman, it allows for so much variety without any barrier to entry. The only bad thing about Beastman is that it is a limited time event. It only comes out every two weeks and alternates between the hunt and mayhem version. This means if you only enjoy one version of Beast Moon, then it only comes out once a month for a duration of 7 days. This is why Beast Moon is not very popular, because you can't access it whenever you want to. You can only play it when the event is on. Now, if you are interested in learning Beast Moon, you notice that you can't actually access every single form. This is because you haven't unlocked them yet, and you can only have access to the free forms that are available that week. You can check what the free forms are by clicking on the pedestal and clicking on each form to see which school or form is available. It will say upgrade level, then you need to learn what cards it has and if that form is actually a good form to play because not all forms are created equal. You do this by seeing if its attacks are worth the amount of pips it costs and how many pips your form starts with. So for example, a balanced pig can hold one pip and whenever you enter a battle you gain a pip, so you, on round one you start with two pips in total. So what can you use those two pips on? You can use it on a horse that does 200 damage for two pips which is amazing, and then for one pip you do 100 damage, and to gain pips you use a zero pip spell which you put a weakness on the opponent and you buff yourself with a trap. As you can see, this form is amazing if you play it properly by discarding the other cards that are very useless and you just spam the attacks. Compare this to a Myth Draconian, what can it do? It can hold 1 pip, so it starts with 2 pips when you enter the battle, but its 2 pip spell actually does 150 damage, and its 1 pip spell does 75 damage. Its 0 pip spell is donating pips or summoning a minion. Minions are practically useless in Beastmen, and donating a pip sounds good, but if you're only doing 150 damage, then there's no point donating a pip to you because you don't have high damage spells. This means that you're going to be donating to your teammate, but if your teammate dies, then you're essentially playing a useless form. So then why did you play a useless form? The reason why you play a useless form is if you are left with a useless form where everyone else stole the better form. This means if you want to permanently play a form that is reliable and good, you have to unlock the form. You unlock the form by crafting it in the anvil whenever Beastman Mayhem is out. But the anvils only have certain forms, it doesn't give you all of the forms, so you have to wait until the form that you wanted to craft comes out, and you can see that during the patch notes or the update notes on Kingsal's website. To unlock the form, you need reagents. The first reagent is the idol, which you get from Beastman itself, depending on the map. So basically, the Mirage map is a spirit map, so that will drop you the spirit school idols of random. And then there is a Celestia map that drops the elemental ones. And then the Avalon one drops any of these schools. For Beastman Hunt, you are rewarded regardless of if you lose or win and those idols are basically random but the best way is to plant beastman seeds because they grow within one hour so the normal beastman seed grows in 30 minutes the elemental or spirit ones grow in an hour and then i don't know how long the school specific seeds grow for probably like one and a half hours or two hours and to get those you need to craft them by purchasing the recipe from action and then you 
use the regions to craft the seeds uh, but keep in mind you have to constantly craft them to get it you don't gain your seed back if you want to unlock a death croc then you would plant the death moon school seed then the second region is the Moon Girl Dust and you get that by completing Beastman Mayhem by talking to Manager and then when you finish all three waves you get a total of six Moon Girl Dust. So as you can see there's like a lot of grinding in Beastman but it is not like a requirement. Again there's no barrier to entry with Beastman. You can play without a membership, you can play the free forms, you don't need the best forms, you just play the event. So again Beastman is a team based game where you you have to communicate constantly and listen to your team if you're intrigued to learn more about Beastman because there's a lot to learn you need to learn how to play it beforehand I'll link my guides in the description don't forget to leave a like and let me know if this video helped